Let's take a look at graphing rational functions. And this is on a T89 calculator. On www.mathheels.com, you can find more links to YouTube videos. Uh, under graphing calculators technology, if you click that, then click college algebra, you'll see all the different topics you can do with the graphing calculator. And I'm going through creating all the topics for all the different models of calculator. Slowly. <laughs> it's taking a while. Now, if you just need help on a particular um, topic, if you click Math Lectures, for example, going to College Algebra, and if you're having trouble with uh, absolute value inequalities, you can click the YouTube video over here and watch uh, the same lecture I'd give in my classroom, same explanation, same examples, is out here. Uh, so you can watch that if you need extra help. Don't click the WebEx. I'm eventually going to remove those. That was before I knew how to do YouTube. Okay. Let's take a look at um, our first problem here. Want to grab this rational function? We've got f of x is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 3. Now, um, let's talk about vertical asymptotes. Remember, our three steps for sol to find a vertical asymptote is to factor the top, factor the bottom. Well, there's nothing to factor. Um, our next step is to cancel, if possible. Well, there's nothing to cancel. They have to be exactly the same to cancel. Then our third step is to set the denominator equal to 0 and solve. So we've got x minus 3 is equal to 0, which gives us x is equal to 3. Okay, now the uh, key to plugging this into your calculator is if you got more than a single number or a single variable on top or bottom, put parentheses around that part. So put parentheses around x plus 4 and parentheses around the x minus 3. Okay, so let's go graph this. I'm going to do diamond f1 for y equals. I'm going to up arrow uh, to y1 and I'll press clear to clear out where it was there. Do a beginning parentheses x plus 4. Closing parentheses divided by beginning parentheses x minus 3. And then closing parentheses. And then press enter. You see it, it goes ahead and adjusts it to, to look like our problem. Now if I do graph diamond f3. You see this right here. Now um, this extra vertical line here. This is a flaw with the calculator. It's not supposed to put the vertical asymptote on there. By definition, a vertical asymptote is an invisible line your graph skims, not a line you can see. Um, so when we sketch this down, it'll look something like and um, something like that. And that would be our answer. Okay, let's look at our next one. Okay, we got f of x is equal to x plus 1 over x squared minus 4x minus 5. Let's take a look at the vertical asymptote. Um, first step, back to the top, back to the bottom. Can't do anything with the top at the bottom is PSD. We'll get back to that. So this becomes x plus 1 over x minus 5 times x plus 1. Our second step in finding a vertical asymptote is you cancel if possible. Well, this has an x plus 1, this has an x plus 1. So those cancel. And we got 1 over x minus 5. Now our last step in solving a vertical asymptote is then set your denominator equal to 0. So we got x minus 5 equal to 0 and solve. And we get x is equal to 5. So we're going to see a vertical asymptote there. Okay, if you got more than a single number, single variable, put parentheses around that part. So parentheses around top, parentheses around the bottom. Other than that, we pretty well type in as we see it. So let's see what it looks like. So I go to diamond f1 for the y equals. Up arrow to y1, press clear. Do a beginning parentheses, x plus 1. Close parentheses, divided by beginning parentheses, x, then caret 2, for the second power. 
minus 4x minus 5, closing parentheses, and press enter. And then I'm going to graph, so do diamond F3. And you see it's putting a vertical line here at 5. We know that shouldn't be there. But we also know that for a vertical asymptote, our graph skims the vertical asymptote. But doesn't touch it or, or um, doesn't touch it or cross it. This keeps getting closer and closer to it. Which means that I know this um let's see, I better see where five is at. So I know this graph right here is gonna go like this. Because this keeps up going forever. Because I know it skims it, but never touches it, never crosses it. Down here, same way, but you see it actually going all the way down. And um, use your imaginations. It just looks like calculators. I'm not that good at sketching. Like that. Okay, why do I even uh, talk about the vertical asymptote when we're looking at it on a graphing calculator? Well, one reason is sometimes your graph just stops, and you have to understand what a vertical asymptote is to know that it go, keeps going up forever. It never just stops anyway. And the second reason is we canceled out the x plus 1s here. Well, if I hadn't canceled them out, then if I went ahead and set this equal to 0, x plus 1 equal to 0, we'd set our denominator equal to 0, that would have gave us x is equal to negative 1. Well, what that uh, means graph-wise is that negative 1, we have a hole in our graph. Little open dot, little open circle. Um, now, your graph of your, on your calculator will not tell you that. You won't see an open, open uh, dot, open circle here. Um, but it should be there. Anyway, if it um, if it stays in the problem, it's a vertical asymptote. If it gets canceled away from the denominator, then it's a, a hole. Now that's uh, graphing rational functions on a TA9 calculator. To exit out, you do second escape.